Welcome to the Nacklers Workshop. I'm Paul. In today's video I'll give a brief description of the Unimat SL. We will look at the 10 different machine tools that it can convert into and also look at the various accessories that were available for it. Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Apologies, uh, as I should have done this video at the start of my uh, info series um, or the playlist on the Unimat SL. Um, but, well, better late than never, I guess. So, um, the Unimat SL lathe was first introduced in 1953 and stayed in production until 1977. Uh, it was distributed around the world and and <clears throat> the various forms, there's quite a variety of uh, badges on the headstocks. In Europe uh, it was known as the um, SL1000 and in America as the uh, DB200. Um, if you're really keen to know more about it, uh, lathes.co.uk has masses of details. And it's really good. It also has uh, photos of all the uh, various badges, so you can sort of start to um, age your machine and um, work out where it was, where it originated from. So, yeah, if if you're keen on this, I would encourage you to go and have a look at that. Look at that. So this is a photograph of the uh, end of the box that the Unimat came in. Um, and as you can see, there are ten different uh, machine tools that the that it can convert into. Um, most most people know the uh, lathe and milling, but it's um, yeah, it's quite interesting there. So what we'll do is um, <coughs> we'll start to to walk through each one of them uh, individually. So first on the list is the lathe, and um, I'm not really going to say too much here about that because most of my playlist is uh, to do with the lathe so um, just refer back to, back to that um, and then we have second on the list the drill press which are grouped together with the milling machine um, as they they are pretty similar the only real difference is how you would hold the tool you know drill bits in a um, Jacob's chuck and cutters in a Possibly the um, collar chucks, um, but again, there's there's a sort of limited uh, uh, limited information I can give on that. What are, we we will see some of the um, the various um, attachments later on in the video associated with the milling machine. So let's just jump back to the uh, hand um, hand drill. Now, yeah, sorry, I don't have a photo of uh, of that. I could have st tried to steal one from um, lathes.co.uk, but I thought that was probably inappropriate. Uh, but once I've got got the machine going, I'm going to have a go at trying to use it as a hand drill. Um, I think it will be a bit of a challenge because you, you you're holding in your hand um, basically on a on a spindle that secures the headstock. Uh, to the to the main bed and you've got the headstock the, and the spindle in it you've also got the electric motor and the pulleys so it just seems to me it's going to be awfully unbalanced but um, as soon as, as I say as soon as I've got the uh, the machine uh, going then we'll we have a go and um, see what we can do so let's flip on to what we've got next the uh, grinding tool so um, I've got a couple of photos here from the original um, accessory book for the SL. Um, so there, yeah, it's, there's not much detail. There are a few of the uh, guards that come up available on eBay to purchase, but they're uh, few and far between. And um, obviously uh, trying to find uh, the grinding wheels um, might be a bit of a challenge or well no no actually in fairness you might I'm sure I probably can find some of a similar size that would work so where are we on the list oh yeah jigsaws 
So here's a photo of a jigsaw attachment. As you can see, it secures to the ways. Um, here's a photo of um, it from the, from the uh, catalog as well. You can see it's got a round surface at the top there, and, but here's another one where it shows it with a square one. So I'm not sure which one came first or, uh, yeah, it's obviously something involved over time. Um, they, they are, they, they do come up from time to time on uh, eBay, so I'm sure I will get one of those and just to have a play and uh, just hopefully make an interesting video. So now we're on to uh, circular saws and you can see the, uh, the attachment there in the photo. Um, and we flip to the uh, back to the catalogue and this just shows it actually I failed to mention that but it's interesting to see the prices of some of these things and also if you look at it there that's a uh, again a second photo from there from the catalogue so um, yeah again these, these do come up from time to time so I might try and get one um, just for completeness so it will be uh, quite fun to have the complete set and and be able to make some videos so and it, it's all in one place that's really my goal two to go everyone and then we we'll start to look at the um, some of the attachments so we're on threading now we can we can see here's the uh, threading attachment um, which uh, yeah I really would like one of these and then we can see in the second photograph the um, the various um, different thread forms that you you need to have and and as you can see there's quite a few of them they generally uh, sell for sort of for around about 50 pound each so it's um it's going to be quite an investment to get threading going but i think uh, if i can get one one or two to um to uh, have a little play with then that would be uh, sufficient for um you know the goal of making a video on all the attachments and we've got the again the catalogue um, extracts where we can um, see a bit more on the process of them so uh, I think we would have all liked to have tucked away quite a few of these um, many years ago uh, and then lastly we're going to look at uh, wood turning so this is the um, tool rest uh, for your wood turning hand tools um, there's not really too much uh, you know one can say about wood turning you know you fix it to the light uh, fix it to the chuck and away you go um, in this other photo it's um, if you, you can see they, they've extended the the uh, the ways yeah, I have seen these extension bars um, for sale um, I I could never see the point of them until actually today when I found this photo which uh, makes a lot of the sense when you're doing the wood turning um, maybe not so much sense with the uh, the metal turning because obviously you can't um, cross over uh, there's a the, you know uh, move, move the uh, tailstock um, back and forward very well so uh, yeah that's it so now uh, back to the box and we've got uh, we've gone through the 10 um, the 10 various uh, forms that you can turn this uh, Unimat SL into. So let's have a look at some of the um, accessories. So here we have the uh, ER16 collet holder that I've um, shown in some of my other videos. And here was a box of uh, collets that you could buy um, at the time. Um, again, uh, no longer available, they're replaced with ER16s. Um, and then we've got the watchmaker's spindle which I featured uh, two or three weeks ago um, a very nice price and all the collets there uh, a nice set of uh, cutting tools that, um, that were available um, and then we go on to uh, dividing head um, these you still can pick up um, on uh, on good old eBay, um, yeah, they're they're, uh, they're they're pretty cool, and uh, yeah, I'll, I think I'll try and get one of those um, somewhere along the line. Um, what have we got here? We oh yeah, so there's a riser block, so you can actually increase the 
the height of the um, the headstock. Um, they, they are available, but I think I would quite like to have a go at um, making one uh, um, sometime in the future. So here we have some uh, finishing tools. Um, again, you know, lots of accessories for everyone to buy. Uh, the flexible drive, I don't know why it amazed me that this was available in 1953. Um, it, yeah, for some reason I, I just thought it was a modern sort of uh, thing, so I was a little bit um, surprised when I saw this in the accessory list. Um, what we got now then? Oh yeah, machine vice and uh, milling table, I've got both of those, so when we... Um, get going we'll, we'll have a look at those in a bit more detail um, some very milling cutters so that, that would have been a pretty cool thing to have for this but obviously not available now um, the power feed we, we did a little video on that a couple of weeks ago so um, you're, you're familiar with that and then we've got a, a pulley to reduce the speed um, I've got I've got one of those fitted of mine, so um, we, I want to do one on speed. Uh, diamond dressing wheel, so um, yeah, even, I don't know, again, I was a little bit surprised with that for some reason. So, you know, that's all the accessories now. And I think we can, we've probably seen that the uh, Unimat SL is a bit more than just a lathe, and um, it's a pretty cool marketing um idea really and sell the lathe and then an awful lot of accessories I think uh, they probably made more money out of the accessories than they ever did out of the lathes um, over the uh, span from 1953 to 1977 so anyway I hope that's given you a little bit of flavour of the uh, Unimat SL and um, as always uh, stay uh, happy strong and healthy and cheerio.